Hi guys, today I want to show you how to fix broken nail using fiberglass. And now I will show you that on my little finger. As you can see, my nail is not broken, just look disgusting, but it is not broken at all. But I will break it especially for you. Somewhere, let's say here, really typical place for the nail to get broken. But let's say you don't want to cut it, you don't want to make it shorter, it got broken disgustingly. You always catch your sweater and your hair here and probably it hurts. So what to do in this case? In my previous videos I show you how to do it using tea bag, real tea bag. Yes, like real, real tea bag if you don't believe me, real tea bag. But today I will show you better way more durable and more, let's say, professional is to fix the nail using fiberglass. Many nail techs doesn't like fiberglass, but I do. You just have to know how to work with it. Fiberglass allows you to make nail extension, to make nail reparation, and nail will be really, really strong. Only you have to be really careful working with fiberglass. What I mean by careful, you have to wear gloves always, and you have to wear mask. We will start from buffing our nail. You can take little buff, you can take as well nail file, whatever you want. I will take my little buff. Let's remove the dust. And now we need to use dehydration. If I don't have dehydration, I use alcohol of 96% and it works really good for me. Cheap and you can buy it in any pharmacy. Let's wait until our nail gets dry. And let's start to work with fiberglass. We need a little paper. Any paper that you have, my fiberglass had already paper that came with it. Then we need something like orange stick, for example. I have this one that is dirty. I don't want to use another one. And probably if you if you are a beginner and you work at home, you also don't want to use another one. So you can file this one until it gets clean again. We don't need the perfect shape of our orange stick. We are not going to work with cuticle, no. We need it for fiberglass, so like this it's okay. And now we need to cut fiberglass. How do we do it? We take it at the end of fiberglass and we try to do something like that like this okay i need just a little bit of fiberglass because my nail is really small don't forget to hold it really hard here and we cut it now this fiberglass we will leave on the paper like this and important moment how to work with fiberglass i will show you let's take orange stick then we can take our nail file to press one side of the fiberglass like this and now we need to separate threads from each other kind of like that So kind of like this and then we need to take just a little bit because this is a lot for our little broken part we just need to take a little bit of, of the product and this we will leave it maybe you have more broken nails so you can use this fiberglass if you will not use this one you have to throw it there is no way you can save it somehow that you can use it later. So it's like, or you use it now or never. And let's move it at the top of the paper. Now let's forget about fiberglass. Let's take any nail polish base that you have. Let's apply nail polish on the whole nail. As you can see, I didn't do manicure, I didn't do anything. I'm acting like I'm a beginner that has some certain products like nail polish base and fiberglass and uv lamp but nothing more no drill bit nothing more just some basic products so that's why i didn't do manicure i didn't do anything on this nail i even didn't 
file it as you can see because we will file it later. I wanted everything to look really natural. So okay, we applied nail polish base. Now what we need is to take our paper with fiberglass on the top as you can see. We put it over the nail and we move it really close to the nail. See, I put it really close over the nail and then with my finger I will push it and I will remove the paper like that. Now let's take orange stick and let's try to stick fiberglass to the nail. It has to be drowned in the nail polish base. Mm -hmm, perfect. I really like this way. Nail will be super durable, super strong. We need to drag fiberglass to the side of the broken part. As you can see, it can be moved really easily. You can move it there, you can move it back. Fiberglass is a really comfortable and useful product. That's it, ready. Now let's go into the lamp for 30 seconds. To remove pieces of fiberglass if we have some. Many nail techs used to say that it is not good to file fiberglass, that it's even dangerous. We will not fight if they are right or wrong, but the good thing about this is that using this way we don't have to file our fiberglass. And now we will apply nail polish base, first thin layer and then bigger layer. As usual, if you don't know how to apply nail polish base, you can see my video. It has the name how to apply nail polish base for beginners. So if you don't know how to do it and if you don't know why we do some certain movements like this one, for example, that we keep our nail uh, upside down, I really recommend you to see that video. I explain there with details how to apply nail polish base and why we do some certain things. Ready? Let's put it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Now we'll remove sticky layer and we need to file our nail. As I said before, we don't have to file fiberglass. No, now we need to file just nail polish a little bit if you see that you have some imperfections. That's it, my imperfection has been corrected super fast. Then we cut pieces of fiberglass that we don't need and we need to shape our nail as we want. I will do a square nail. And it will be soft square. That's it. Look at our nail. Actually, like nothing happened. Nothing is speaking about broken nail. Only this little line that we still have. Here, of course, if we see it from this angle, we see that right side has more volume than the left side. But it's okay. Our main idea was to save the nail and not to cut it. So what do you think, guys? I think fiberglass is an amazing tool to save your nail. It can help you to make nail extension and what is more common to fix broken nail. It is really easy tool to use and you can do it even at home if you are a beginner. Thank you for being with me today and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye bye!